death was not accidental. No. The attorney uh, has advised me not to get into that at all. But it's very important to know that she did not just pass away like that. No. And if it's the last thing that I do, I'm going to find out what truly happened to my sister. Houston's body was found in her Beverly Hills hotel room. She was in town for the Grammy Awards, which are tomorrow, and we're getting late word that just two days ago she was at a rehearsal appearing disheveled. CBS 2's Dave Carlin joins us live with late details. not showing up for Clive. Oh, yeah, that was between him and I. We both discuss it. I enjoy what I do. I love to see what's just not fun anymore. Because people are different in the industry. It's about the money. got to make sure that artists like Jennifer, or rock artists, the new Bruce Springsteen, the new Bob Dylan, has a chance to emerge so that her voice is incomparable. I have a party the night before the Grammys. Yeah. I put her on, and her peers, everyone is sitting there, and they just are flabbergasted. So she's the real deal. It was a surreal event where Whitney's body was still in the hotel and... I thought that was complete insanity. Whitney would have wanted the music to go on. And knowing Whitney, I don't believe that she would have said, the show must go on. She's the, she was the kind of woman that would say, stop everything. Uh -uh. I don't know what could motivate a person to have a party in a building where the person whose life he had influenced so, so enormously.
breaking tonight, live LA, American Songbird superstar Whitney Houston dead. We are live just feet here from the death. We're going to find out what was in her system, and I'd like to find out who, if anyone, put it in her system or gave it to her. Let's take a look at Anna Nicole Smith and the allegations that came down against all the people surrounding her, including her fiancé, Howard Stern. Uh, take a look at Michael Jackson, Conrad Murray. So I'd like to know who was around her, who, if anyone, gave her drugs following alcohol and drugs, and who let her slip or pushed her underneath that water. Apparently no signs of force or trauma to the body. Who let Whitney Houston go under her water? Also, I had to find one time they wanted me to find um, to find out if there was such a thing as um, as a poison that was undetectable, especially one that seemed to uh, mimic a heart attack that would kill someone, but it would it appear that they had a heart attack. I did find such a thing. Does this pistol uh, fire the dart? Yes, it does, Mr. Chairman, and a special one was developed which potentially would be able to uh, enter the target without perception. The, the poison was frozen into some sort of dart, and then it was shot at uh, very high speed into the person, so at, when it reached the person, it would melt inside them, and the only thing would be like one little tiny red dot on their body, which was hard to detect. But also the toxin itself would not appear in the autopsy? Yes so that uh, there was no, no way of perceiving that the, uh, the target was hit. And I put it all together. When I first heard she, she passed away, I said, my God, somebody gave her a bad bag. Okay. That, yes. I promise you, that was the first thing that came out of my mouth. And then I saw Ray J, and it all added up. For some reason, or he knows somebody, somebody that sells drugs, and he was buying them for Whitney from what I know, and given her drugs. Another thing, Whitney did not get in bathtubs and hotels. Huh. That was something that she and I discussed on many occasions. We, we, we used to laugh about it. Whitney would never get in the hotel bathroom. She hated them, said they're dirty. You know, yeah, we, we talked and laughed about how we would never do that. So when I heard that she was found in that bathtub, I knew right then and there something was wrong.
manager once and said to me, and she said to me, you know, you're worth more money dead than alive. and remained in seclusion one day after the bodies of her 57-year-old mother, Darnell Donerson, and her older brother, 29-year-old Jason Hudson, were found in the home where she grew up. Both had been shot to death. Kanye, they said that Kanye got to blow up to be number one because he sacrificed his mom. You're talking about the music industry. It's a demonic industry controlled by the Illuminati. Machine around us, this so-called music industry, is such a demonic uh, thing. Uh, it's it sacrifices people's lives. It means they want to hear someone sing, <laughs> sing love to them, um, not so much um, strip for them, take the clothes off for them, or you know, do soft porn for them. They want to hear love, they want to feel love, they want to raise their daughters with an integrity and an indignity and a pride that doesn't require that. Music is, is a gift from, from heaven, I believe. It, it does not change, people change the music, um, they become um, characters instead of really displaying their gifts and if you look behind a lot of the people that are out there that are like, you know, wearing these weird, you know, kind of clothing which has nothing, you know, I'm not, you know, um, um, talking about anyone in particular, but I've seen for myself. But they are, there are some extremely gifted and talented young women and young men out there who don't have to really put on Halloween costumes, just be themselves, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a little, you know, extravagance, you know, a little, you know, you know, um, flair, a little, you know, sexiness or sultriness is cool. But some of them are very dark, are very dark. And days when we are going through so much, you know, tragedies and, and earthquakes and things of, you know, of, of, of disasters and, and, and New Orleans and the whole thing, you know, it's, it's time to, to um, I believe, to sing about love and what um, has been here since the beginning of time. And that's been love.